In the same vein, following the swearing-in ceremony in Abuja yesterday, the newly appointed Minister of Education, Professor Tahi Maman, and the Minister of State for Education, Dr. Yusuf Sununus, assumed duty as the pledge to put staff welfare into consideration. Now, Professor Maman, who said he would work tirelessly, stressed the need to set clear targets and meet them, uh, considering the pressure on the administration to deliver. So it's not a question of uh, you come to the office, you routine, push that file, push this file, phone director this, phone director that, nothing happens. No. We have to have measurables that will govern us. We shall be working with KPIs. If it is monthly, three times, four times in a year, please, you better let us all now recycle ourselves because this is the mentality we are bringing to each and every person here so that by the time we finish you will also be very happy there's nothing like success you know are you a part of it there's nothing more than that i know there are constraints there are facilities and there are constraints but i can assure you as best as possible we will pursue what will make things right for you people You need a suitable environment to work. Whatever is due to you as civil servants with the permanent secretary and other directors that are, um, have duty and responsibility for that, we will not let go of what is due to staff of the Ministry of Education. Well, Dr. Yusuf Sununu, in his remarks, stated that the issue of strikes would be handled differently with more regard for the staff unions and fair resolutions. Even as a member of House of Representatives, all my works stands and ends with education. Though health is my too. I've sponsored a bill for the establishment of College of Education, which became an act for me and my senior minister. I assure you that we are going to respect the right of workers. Most importantly, I'll be a unionist. And I know what it means to respect the right of workers. As the president came and called me when I was mentioned as a Minister of State Education, he said he's on his way to Bauchi. He called me in just and said that the goodies that you have done to doctors in your negotiation, we do hope that it can also be extended to teachers and lecturers in the field of education. That can be done, but we also assure you we need your cooperation, support and understanding to know that situation must be given its discretional circumstances. The ministers were received in office by the permanent secretary of the ministry, Dr. Uh, Mr. Andrew David Adijo, other heads of education, per starters, and agencies, amongst others.